My name is Lisa Min, and my role is clinical social worker at social services at the Tang Center. I think oftentimes the mainstream definition of rape is a stranger jumping out of the bushes. That's what people think of first. Uh, when you work on a university campus, a much more common profile is someone goes to a party, there are a lot of people around, you're meeting new people, uh, there may be alcohol involved, and you know people connect. And sometimes intimate behaviors begin, and they start out consensually, uh, but then sometimes things can move too fast, people can feel pressured, and a sexual assault occurs. And sometimes people aren't even able to name it in the moment. They just know, okay, this was uncomfortable, I feel a line was crossed. Our Cal students are so smart, they're so accomplished, they're so in control, that when something like sexual assault happens where your control is taken away, it's very confounding for people. And uh, oftentimes, their guilt, blame, and confusion go inward, and they blame themselves for what has happened. Something I will often say to students as we're trying to properly assign responsibility for what has happened is by telling students the person who was responsible for your sexual assault is not in this room. Um, and that, that can often be a pretty impactful statement that people find helpful.